Broadcasting in 1080p, full HD, from high atop a low foothill. Located in a safe quarantine bunker in the outskirts of beautiful smog and smoke-filled Los Angeles. You're watching Rock and Roll Tuesdays with Rocky Kramer. And now, 
here's Rocky. another rock and roll Tuesdays we're doing the fighter today because um we were talking about a few fighting songs last week I believe and I'm also I'm fighting uh, something that might be a a flu or something so uh, if I sound a little congested it's okay we're still doing the show because the show must go on which happened to be the intro video just by pure coincidence or was it it was in the stars as they say anyway uh hello Aneth R&R fan once bitten by rose blood and uh, Kill Me Willy and uh, Lord Kaka. All right, everyone. Hope you're all having a good evening so far, or morning for some of you. And uh, that you guys are ready to rock. Let me hear what your, what's your favorite fighting song. And uh, we're going to do some different ones. Um, we're going to save a few of them for later. We're going to check everything's all, all good. Then we're going to have some fun with it. <laughs> And thank you, Sebastian Shaw 69 for the 100 bits. Thank you. Thank you so much. And welcome. Welcome back. I have the tiger. We are going to do I have the tiger. I have the tiger is happening. We're going to save it for a little bit later. Um, but uh, it's going to happen. We're going to do one that's uh, just... Let me see. We're going to do one about fighting for your right. Guys. You're gonna, You're gonna fight, fight for your, your right. right. <laughs> to to party. party! That's right. <laughs> to party! Kick it! Don't wanna go. Your eyes got 
party. Fight for your right to party. That's right. I would get in the boxing ring to fight for my right to party. That's right. Anyway, and there you go. Uh, and hello, dearly beloved band. Uh, welcome, welcome, welcome back. Hope you're having a good night. And uh, uh, let's see. We're going to jump on some other songs here. And uh, uh, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. So, um, uh, the one song, I don't really know this one super well, but it, it, we were talking about it last time. Kung Fu Fighting by Carl Douglas. I haven't done this one before, but we were kind of talking about the, uh, th that stuff. So, um, we were also talking about turning Japanese, which I'm, uh, I'm still working on that one. Maybe, uh, maybe next time. Maybe next time. <laughs> Turning Japanese, I'm turning Japanese. Yes, it's a, it's a cool song. Anyway, uh, we're going to jump on that maybe next time. We will see. So, anyway, uh, I do have a lots, of wa lots of water. There's water everywhere. And uh, we're going to... Oh, and, and by the way, my mood. I have my current mood spent. Current mood is spent. Also... Oh, uh, never mind. Um, <laughs> usually this thing says rockin'. But, uh, oh, wait, am I just, am I just an illusion? I think I'm AI. So, there you go. Uh, how's your throat? Much better now, actually. It's funny that singing tends to loosen things up a little bit. So, we'll see. I'm gonna, I'm gonna save some of the, I'm gonna save Eye of the Tiger for a little bit because I want to make sure I'm nicely warmed up. Uh, dude, I swear that guitar every time is just so beautiful. You want one of these? Uh, it's too bad you can't you can't buy this unless Fender decides to release the Rocky Kramer model. But um, her name is Pearl, and uh, she was born in 2015. Triple humbucker. Um, what else is there to say? Gold hardware, locking tuners, Demarzios, Tone Zone. I think Air Norton. I had. I've had so many pickups now that I don't even keep track. I think it's Air Norton's. Um, it's a nice, good, nice sounding guitar. We're gonna try some Carl Douglas. <laughs> Boil hot water with lemons, ginger, garlic. After pour it into a mug, add honey. It will help your throat. Yeah, I've been drinking a lot of tea today, so I've done some of that stuff, but. Um, I haven't tried ginger though. Maybe I'll try ginger next time. Garlic though, you don't want to you don't want to put garlic in your mouth unless you want to <sighs> keep everyone away. Maybe that's the secret. <laughs> Maybe that's that's the purpose of the garlic is so people won't be close to you. There's a graphic floating around that says exactly what's in pearl. That's true. It is on at least on Facebook, probably on Instagram. It's been a while though. I posted that. When I first got this guitar. Anyway, we're gonna try some Carl Douglas. Everybody was Kung Fu fighting. Let's try this thing. Ah, there's a sorry. There's a cable. The cable is stuck to me. It's becoming a part of me now. You know, it's happening. It is happening. Yeah, it's happening right now. That's right. Yeah. Is it playing? Let's see. Oh no. Good thing I kind of understand. Everybody was Kung Fu fighting Those kicks were fast and lightning In fact I was a little bit frightening But the fight was an expert timing They were funky Chinamen From funky Chinatown They were chopping them up I was a little bit frightening 
that's right. Uh, it still fits out. Anyway. Hello, Alonso. Hello, hello. Saludos. Whoo. Uh, I have my great grandpa's Olympic white squire bullet that was handed down, and it has a small tobacco tint from them being smokers. Ah. Very cool, very cool. What year is it? Just kind of curious. I like old guitars. I think that's a cool thing. Although I would not... I would not pay... What is it? What do they pay for some of those really old ones? Uh, and not necessarily the historic ones, but like the... People are paying a lot of money just for... Um, pretty cheap ones. Pretty old ones, I mean. Cheap ones. Eh. <laughs> There you go. Uh, Authority song by John Mellencamp. I don't remember. Have I done this one before? I'm trying to remember if I've done it before. I, I don't remember it, but uh, let me take a look at it for next time. Uh, I do have uh, Jesus Jones for you. I, it, it, ironically, I actually heard it. Uh, I heard it at a restaurant just recently, so I was like, okay, all right. It's going to happen. Uh, so it's, it's happening tonight. I also have uh, Alan... Uh, uh, oh, jeez. Alan Parsons project. Don't answer me. Um, and we're going to get to those pretty soon. Uh, we're going to do one more. Let me see. I got to do a few. Actually, maybe we'll do get to those pretty soon. Uh, we did do this one. And uh, I need to do like another warm-up song. And this one's about Superman. Kind of. By the way, check out my, my, my cup. This is my cup, the Rocky Kramer cup. It's very full. Um, this used to be merch, by the way. This used to be Rocky Kramer merch. We don't have it for sale right now, but sooner or later we'll have these back again. So you can drink your favorite tea with a bit of honey. From a Rocky Kramer cup. I don't know. That still stumps me. I tried finding out but couldn't. And when I look up the years this started being made, it said 1999. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Just, the moment you say, I think you said grandpa or something. Um, what did you say? Uh, great, great grandpa. I always want to say it must be, must be kind of old. You should get that mug into color changing the wicked. That would be cool. Like the one that changes the color when it gets hot. That was actually, I think it was Kramer Guitars. They had a April Fool's joke. They didn't want to fall for any April Fool's jokes this year. Um, I, I, I almost made that into the theme, but I, I chose not to. But uh, Kramer Guitars, they had a, uh, as a prank video where like, they, they they were using that thing where like when you touch it, it, it changes color, which I think that shouldn't be an April Fool's joke. They should do that. That's great. That's a cool idea. You know, when you touch it, then like there'll be like a different color. I mean, I, they're, they're joking around with it, but they should be serious. Why not so serious? All right, we're going to do Kryptonite, the, the, the three doors down. I 
that could be something to do with you I really don't mind what happens now and then And as long as you'll be This, right? No, that's right. That's Captain America? Captain America? I think so. My brain not working so well. Uh, Superman logical with black and white spiral pattern behind the Superman logo for guitar. Wow. That's a lot of stuff. Um, so you're building a guitar? That's really cool. Very, very cool. Very, very cool. Welcome, Malchick, and thank you for the five gifted subs. Thank you. I need like an applause button so I can uh, really cheer properly. Uh, welcome, welcome to the stream. Uh, Superman with a Captain America shirt. Yeah, that's exactly, exactly. And hello, JRG. Um, yep, 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 yep. Uh, and welcome, Harmonica David. Um, so you you don't know what finish you want? Okay. Just have, I, my suggestion is just have the guitar and just have a huge picture of me on it. So it's just, my face is just all over this thing, including the pickups, just everywhere. Just a huge picture of me. And the picture will be this. Okay? Promise me that. All right. Uh, we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna, uh, I have most of it built, just finished the holes and stuff to put in the humbuckers. Okay. Very cool, very cool. Very cool, very cool. Love it! Loving every minute of it! Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna do some, uh, we do have some, some, uh, rocky stuff coming up here. I'm trying to decide which one to do first. Sounds great, let me clip real quick. <laughs> I know you're gonna do this, I know you're gonna do it. <laughs> Thank you. 
So, hello. Um, this was uh, this was from Rocky Four. Uh, it was requested actually probably a month or two ago. Bringing it back, and uh, have done it before. It's by John Cafferty, Hearts on Fire, and uh, we are going to do Survivor. Uh, We're going to do Eye of the Tiger in a little bit, little bit. Painting a guitar is hard. Uh, to get the finish to cure, do a lot of research. Very true. I have, I've never tried to paint a guitar. I had the I had, I was planning on doing that one time. If you guys have seen my first Fender, it's the blue one. I was going to paint that. I actually, I wanted that color. Here's the story behind it. I wanted it in that color. It's called sapphire blue. It's a great color. I ordered the guitar, and and the and the the company they said. We only have the brown color, or it was only that it was only online. They only have the like a like a coffee brown or something, right? And I'm like, okay, so I ordered that, thinking I'll just repaint it. And then they called me and said, you know, sorry, we don't have that brown color anymore. Uh, what, what colors do you want? Do you want sapphire blue? We got green. I'm like sapphire blue. Give it to me now. And that's the story of how I didn't paint it, but I did paint the pick guard. If you look at some photos. I don't know where you would find those. Um, in the dark places of the internet. Uh, there are pictures of it. Um, it was kind of... Some people thought it was like... They looked like Van Halen. But I wasn't even... I didn't even... I hadn't even seen the Van Halen guitar. I didn't even like put the two together. But that was like... Everyone else thought I was doing that. Anyway. I don't know why I hadn't seen it. I'd heard plenty of Van Halen. I just never paid attention to his guitar. I mean, I'm talking about the one with the stripes on it. Because I was doing kind of... I had a... I painted it black with red stripes on top. Anyway, there's a picture somewhere. Love that I didn't miss the Rocky Stallone. You did miss the first song. I did Gonna Fly Now. You did miss that. Anyway, we're gonna do John Caffrey. We're talking too much. And uh, that's never a good thing. You never talk too much. It's better to do songs. Yeah!
Hearts on Fire, John Cafferty. There you go. And thank you for following Hans Dumpf, 1887. And thank you, r, &R fan, for the 200 bits. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate that. Ooh. Okay. Uh, that was John Cafferty. If you don't know that song, it was on uh, Rocky IV. Uh, on the Rocky IV soundtrack. Also, hello, go for bronze. Hello and welcome. Welcome back. Uh, just let me breathe for a second there. Um, also, I... I uh, let me see. Let me just put something in because I know this was requested. Um, let me see if I can find the one that I meant to look for. I think that's the one. Okay, I think that's the one. All right, just keeping that. We're going to do... Uh, let me see. We're gonna do a gosh. Which one should we do? Let me do a let me do a li little bit uh one a little bit lower range. Uh, Alan Parsons project. This is Don't Answer Me. You guys know this one? The only thing about this song is that it, um, I got I, I forgot to check who did it first, but it sounds just like Last Christmas, you know, uh, by, uh, what's his name? Wham? Uh, what's his name? Um, Michael, George Michael. So it, it, it's the same chord progression, so I just, I can't avoid hearing that. Yeah, Wham. Uh, also, I, I, I am going to show... I gotta show the the, the cup again because I just I, I like this cup. It also has the kind of the Rocky Kramer logo. I don't know. Do you guys see this one much? I think it's in it's it's one of my emails. It is not the same song. That's very true. And this one's very different. It has a very different feel to it. So yeah, I'm I'm just I'm I'm gonna do some low ones just so that we space it out a little bit. And I I uh, I think I, I believe it was Malgic that wanted to hear Beverly Hills Cop. Uh, so I found a backing track that's like for guitars, so it'll be kind of like a metal, or kind of metal, Beverly Hills Cop. So uh, maybe we'll do that after that. We'll do some extra guitar stuff today, just to give, give me a little, a little rest. <laughs>
So um, w- w- we're gonna circle back on it just just one time, just just one just one time. Um, just. We're gonna do it one more time. We're gonna do it one more time. Just parts of it. Just, just, just check this out. Just check this out. All right, you guys ready? You guys are ready? You ready? Last Christmas, I gave you my heart, but the very next day, you gave it away. <laughs> I just think that's. I just think it's great. Anyway, uh, but but uh, before we move on, before we move on uh, and make fun of this one, it says here this one's 1986. I don't know if that's true, but um, Alan Parson. When was that? I, I just for the fun of it. We're not making any accusations. Um, don't answer me. Anyway, hello, Maxi Max. Uh, how's it going? And DD1711. Hello, 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 hello. And if I miss someone, I, I apologize. Uh, can I, uh, Bobby Jean by Bruce Springsteen. I'll, I'll take a look at it. I'll take a look at it. 84? Okay. Oh, so uh, like it's around the same time. I think they were both. I mean, Last Christmas, I think, was a bigger song. It was a bigger hit. But yeah, 84. I got 84 as well. Um. Oy, 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 oy. So Alan Parsons. I mean, I think this song was a pretty big hit, though, wasn't it? Let me take a look. I uh, I because it's it comes up as let me see. Uh, let me see. Don't ask for me. It was the album's lead single? Okay. And what did it reach? It reached fifteen on the Billboard charts. All right. A little bit of history there. Rocky Kramer history. Maybe a song sold to a studio or label and gets rewritten. It kind of happens that way, but it's also uh, a lot of times when a song is on the radio a lot, it, 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 this is not the first time this has happened, that people, they don't realize it, but they just, they, they rip off the song because they hear that chord progression. And it's a good chord progression. It's better than this one. It's better than that one that they use for like every pop song. Anyway, we're going to move on. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of... <clears throat> Uh, hundreds of songs that sound similar. It's very true. It's very true. Very, very true. We could go on. We could go go on about that a lot. It's just when I hear another song, when I listen to one song, that, that's when I. That's when it. Uh, I know. Like that's when I notice it. A lot of songs use the same chord progressions. But anyway, uh, we, we're gonna uh, we're gonna do a little bit of shredding here and uh, just have a little fun with this. Let's see. Beverly Hills Cop. <laughs> Wait, wait. Oh, it's oh, higher. Oh, is it higher? higher? <laughs> <laughs>
Rehearsed it in E. I think the original is an E, but this one was an F. I have for some reason uh, forgot to check that. Anyway, uh, but there you go. Um, it'll be back. And this one has like another little section in it that I wasn't ready for. I listened to the original. Anyway, uh, we'll bring it back. We'll bring it back. Uh, hello, Chef PLR, and also hello, Flying Penguin. Um, and thank you for following, Chef uh, PLR. Uh, Hope you're doing well. Also, pardon my queef. Uh, thank you. Appreciate that. P -p 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 Appreciate it. Um, but yeah, we'll probably do some more guitar stuff tonight because uh, we're gonna take a little, little breaks here and there. You listen to this like thirty before you went live. Yeah, I, I you requested it. I want to say a few weeks ago, and I, I just uh. I had to like look for something I could play to it. 30 minutes. Yeah, I gotcha. I didn't think it was 30 hours or 30 days. I don't know. <laughs> did you guys uh did you guys hear that? What was that? With that little uh the the frog, you know? Ding ding You know that you know that one? It was like in the nineties, I think. It was a ring, ding, ding, or something like that. I don't know. Uh, it's been a while. It's been a while. We're going to do another song from the Rocky IV soundtrack. This one's called No Easy Way Out. And I uh, hope you enjoy it. By Robert Tepper, who didn't really have like a lot of other songs. But he does have... I forget. There's another song that is pretty cool that he did. But uh, worth checking out. Um, it was in The Simpsons. Ooh. Very cool, very cool. We're getting all the facts in, I love it. Um, I feel like we could, could, sorry, we could talk about music like all day long, <laughs> you know? Anyway, uh, let's see.
Easy Way Out by Robert Tepper, also known as the Rocky IV soundtrack. You guys know it. You've all seen that movie, right? Because um, I think there's a law in every country that you have to see Rocky IV at least once a year. I, I, I may have that wrong, but anyway. Uh, uh, but uh, uh, anyway. Uh, there you go. There you go, guys. Uh, and thank you for following. Uh, and thank you, Chef. Oh! Thank you for four of them more for gifting a sub to Chef PLR. Thank you. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Uh, thank you. And uh, and and how's it going? How's it going? Oh, 
twice a year. <laughs> exactly. And thank you for following you, Maxi Max. Uh, jeez. This is similar to Bon Jovi living on a prayer. It's kind of in the same. Uh, it's I've, the whole '80s thing is a lot. Uh, they have some similarities, I think. Um, uh, enjoy streaming. Thank you. Thank you. Um, all right. Oh. Uh, I think we're gonna do. I have the tiger. Uh, if you guys want to hear, we can do "Living on a Prayer" maybe a little later on. I'm gonna hear other song now for every song played. Yeah. Well, you know, every song sounds like another song. That's you know, and a lot a lot of songs are. I shouldn't say ripped off, but they're inspired by other songs, and and people will admit that. But sometimes you just you, you prefer maybe a certain artist or maybe a certain sound better. Sometimes just a cover song is better when someone else does it. You know, like Hendrix doing Bob Dylan or Kiss doing uh, Argent. You know. So anyway, that's why they sound the same. Uh, well, there is a formula, but but there's also just every. Uh, well, it's not so much anymore, but like in the '80s, they 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 had certain production techniques. So they had certain reverbs that sounded good. They had certain uh, EQs that sounded good, and, and all that stuff. So it was just things would kind of sound a little bit similar because they and they used a lot of the same snare samples and stuff. Uh, we're not gonna take it. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Inspiration in Billy Idol songs. Are you asking me what the inspirations are? Um, Billy Idol, uh, he did do a cover of L.A. Woman by The Doors. I think he was influenced by Jim Morrison, definitely. Uh, also, did I say hello, Sassy Cat? Sassy Cat G, baby! Um, anyway. Uh, can you learn Free Me by Uriah Heep? Uh, let me take a look at that one. We don't, we don't do enough Uriah Heep, so we should probably see if we can make that happen. Um, but yeah, Billy Idol, what does Billy Idol sound like? Um... I don't know. It's own thing! <laughs> anyway, uh, we're gonna do Eye of the Tiger, I guess. Are we doing this now? Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Uh, we'll do Eye of the Tiger, then we'll do a shredding. A shredding one after that. We're gonna do. Let's see. Let me make sure I don't forget. Twisted sister. We're not gonna take it. And we. I. Uh, I'm willing to do living on a prayer. John. Wait, wait. Bon Jovi. Did you guys see the? Someone got a. Billy Idol sounds like Iggy Pop. There definitely some. Uh, that's true. I, I think that's true. Um. Uh, but Iggy Pop kind of sounds like a lot of other singers mixed into one singer. I was listening to a song and I was like, who is this? And it was Iggy Pop and I, I thought it was someone else. So, but maybe he did it first. I mean, he's been, he's, but it was like someone that was like around his same age. Anyway. Also, I'm also down to do some Billy Idol since we're talking about it. Uh, I'm just gonna put Billy Idol in here. So, Steve Stevens and Steve Stevens, yeah, great, uh, great guitar player. Rising up back on the street, the my time, the my chances. When the distance We're not gonna go to this We're not gonna do it Thank you. 
Fender? Because it's the best. Oh, yeah. Okay, uh, we're going to do a little shredding now. And uh, I saw Brook and Roll. I was actually going to do Blitzkrieg, but I'm willing to do Brook and Roll. I haven't done that one in a while, and I do have my own track for it. So let's do that. Uh, wait a minute. Okay, let's see. Let's see, we're going to do this. Got that ready. And we're going to... I think that one's kind of... It's kind of loud, isn't it? I think so. Oh, uh, can you do Cradle of Love? Yes! Uh, that would be a cool one. That's an appropriate one. Let me see. Billy Idol. Um, Rock the Cradle of Love. 
flash for your Romeo. Okay. Um. The flash for your Romeo. I think that's how it goes. Anyway, um, that reminded me of the episode of Sunny where they are quarantined and Dennis looks like he's going to die because he's sick and singing perfect pitch with his elongated note. I haven't gotten that far. Is that a newer season? Because um, I haven't seen... I've only seen... I guess I finished season four. So I have like 11 seasons left. I think it's 15 seasons. But they are shorter, I believe, from now on. So anyway. I uh, hope you guys enjoy some... Shreddage, and then we're gonna do an original after that. <laughs> Alright. If you like Sunny, play Day Man and Day Man and Night Man. I just saw that episode. I just saw that. Like a, like a week or two ago. <laughs> it was great. The music was it a musical? Yeah. Oh my god. Oh Charlie. Hilarious. They wrote a they wrote a musical. Hilarious. Anyway, we're gonna do a song by Ingve Malmsteen called Baroque and Roll. This is my version. If you like it, you can check it out on YouTube uh, for the full version of it. Or this is the full version, but uh, for the like the cool edited. Uh, with flames in the background version. Because you guys know that everything is better with flames in the background. That's, That's right. right. Rock and roll! roll.
listening to Rocky Kramer, magnified, energized, and electrified by Engel and the Powerball 2 amplifier. Rocky Kramer and Engel, a perfect combination. All right, sorry, I got, I got, like an, I got an eyelash in my, my eye like halfway through. Anyway, doesn't matter. That was Ingvay Melnstein, Baroque and Roll. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And thank you for following Multicart Studio. Ingvay with the quads is hard. If, like me, your pinky finger does not listen to your brain. My pinky finger never listens to my brain. Only listens to... Coldplay? Crickets? 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 Also, thank you for following MF Ethans. And I'm assuming that MF stands for mother father I once sent Ingve mail asking for a guitar and he sent me a signed pick in the mail he did that's so cool I love that uh when I went to his show he he threw a bunch of guitar picks at me not to hurt me just because he knew that I wanted them like like crack do I have them here where where are my Ingve picks are they in here I look at this little this I got this at the Metallica show um, there we go. This is an actual, actual played by Ingve Malmsteen. Sorry. This is actually played by Ingve Malmsteen. I have a, I have a few more, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna brag that much. I mean, <laughs> what is this? Fifth grade show and tell? <laughs> anyway, play Family Ties. I don't, <laughs> sorry. <coughs> Jesus. Uh, is that a song? Are we talking about? I'm thinking about Family Ties. Isn't that a TV show? Is that night? Is that is that real? I, for, I I don't remember. Uh, and my brain is. I need to Google everything before I say anything. Let me say Family Ties. That's like a show, right? It's a sitcom. There we go. Is that? Are you talking about the theme? I'll see what I can do. Uh, dude, I follow that a guy that has pick played by Ingve. I know, like. We're talking bragging rights right now when it comes to, I mean, just imagine you go to a, a party and you say, dude, I watched this guy and he has like Ingve Malmsteen guitar pick. I mean, I'm just saying you're going to do well. You're going to do well. Okay. Um, and yeah, there was someone next to me and he's like, can I have one? And I was like, yeah. So I did actually, I, I lost the pick. But he was nice. He, he asked nicely. I was like, yeah. But be nice. Or I'll come back for it. When you least expect it. Huh? I didn't say that. Um. Anyway, we're going to do an original. We're going to do a song that is mostly instrumental. And kind of heavy. Hope you guys like a little heavy. And after that, we're going to do Jesus Jones. And followed by Twisted Sister and Billy Idol. Wait, why do I have more? What's going on here? Okay, it's okay. It's safe. We're fine. We're fine. Okay. We're okay. <laughs> Katy Perry Roar. Um, well, you know, maybe. Maybe. I honestly think that that song would would destroy my voice right now, probably. I think I'm gonna skip all the all the. Do it, do it anyway. I wanna watch you bleed. Anyway, um, <laughs> that sounds brutal. Just the way I like it. I like it brutal. Just like Batman. Um, I, 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 I need, I need a reminder. I always put the, the, the track for this one in a different place, which you would think that after all this time, I would learn, but you know what they say? Some people never learn. And that some people is me. I'm that some people. <laughs> all right, guys. Uh, this one's called Attitude. Hope you guys enjoy it.
if you did enjoy that, that song is called Attitude. It's available on Firestorm, Firestorm, Firestorm. Available now. 14 tracks. How can you say no? CD and on double vinyl. That's right. 180 gram virgin vinyl. Mastered by Bernie Grumman, who mastered Thriller, Purple Rain, and Firestorm. That's usually the three albums that he mentions on his uh, on his website. That's right. Very true. All facts. Anyway, um, so there you go. All right, we're gonna we're gonna try this one. We're gonna try Jesus Jones. Jesus Jones. Right here, right now. Then we'll do uh, Twisted Sister. Maybe we'll do Twisted Sister. Oh, now I see what I did. I have double, double Billy. That's right. I only need one reminder. Let's see. Um... Ooh, yeah. Yeah. You watched the video? I oh no, I didn't watch the video. Keeper just goes hard. Oh my god. Okay, I, now I I will watch it. I have listened to it a lot though. I did listen to it. Uh, Marilyn Manson. I don't know that song, uh, but uh, I I did have a track. Maybe uh, we can do it next time. I didn't have time to learn it. Um, I I, I never listened to Marilyn Manson very much. Do you guys recommend it? Where do I start? I don't even know. Um, but yeah, I think we're gonna skip Katy Perry though. We're gonna skip Katy Perry. Sorry, Katie. I know you're watching every week, but I I'm not gonna do your song, okay? Sorry. Awkward watching with your family and like 10 friends every week, and I just don't want to even do one song. Sorry, Katie. Twisted Sister, one of the strangest two guitar bands who kind of did not shred. Yeah, um. They're a strange bunch, but but I like them. D. Snyder. Beautiful people. I know beautiful people. I know that one. Or I, I say no. Oh, the beautiful people. Beautiful people. It's something like that. A lot of whispering. It's like he's always out of breath. Um. Oh yeah, the the bullseye guitar. I've seen that. I've seen that guitar. I think he has a signature model or some kind. Not to be confused with a Zach Wilde. He also has like a bullseye thing, right? Anyway, we're gonna do Jesus Jones. Oh yeah!
people. Jesus Jones right here, right now. A little bit tempted to, to do Van Halen right now also. Is it called right here? No, it's called right now, right? Right here. It's kind of the same lyrics. Anyway, uh, we're going to do Twisted Sister. We're not going to take it. Because we're not going to take it, guys. Uh, let me see. I got three, three ways to drink water today. And I will enjoy it all. Yeah, that lights emote. Two thumbs up from the Rocky Man. It's like a, it's like a stage show. I feel like I'm in Vegas. The black and pink one is Charvel, but it's unbranded. Oh, okay. There we go. Be a bathroom break, guys. When I perform, it all just comes out <laughs> through the body. <laughs> just say his name is daniel d snyder wow i did not know that 
From now on, I'm just gonna call him Daniel. Good old Daniel! Or Dan. Because nothing says you're a rock star more than Dan. Anyway. Uh, uh, Twisted Scissor music videos were so good. Yeah. They did have some good ones. This one was a good one, right? Um, I think it's like this one. I'm, I'm seeing like a... I have a little, little thumbnail for it. Uh, I'll cook you a good meal. I don't drop anything to do 20. Well, there you go. No 20 for you. But I will get a good meal. I'm trying to think of what was the other one. They have, they have a few pretty big hits. We're not going to take it. What was that other one? Damn it. Oh, I want to rock. That's the one. That has a good video too, I think. Is that the one with the... Uh, I just got to look it up. In the classroom. Anyway. Uh, we're going to do Billy Idol. Cradle of love. <laughs> Cradle of love. Cradle of love. Let me see. I better remember this one. I know that song was requested. Not sure if I'm ready for it. Maybe we can wing it. I don't know. We'll see. If not, we'll do it next time. It'll happen. Let me see. Let me check the key on this one. I don't remember. key. You think they tuned down? The price is very good. The, the guitar solo. Yeah, um... That, that one's been requested before. I've been, like, tinkering with it. It's been a while, though, since I'd, I, I... I meant to do it a few weeks ago. Uh, but it is a cool song. I might... Uh, I, I, let me write it in again. Let me write it in, and, and we'll do the, the price next time, because that's, that's a cool one. Uh, always down to do some more twisty. Twisty sisty. Uh, so there you go. Let's see. It's the cradle of love. Don't rock easily. It's true. Yeah, now. All right, guys. Is it happening? What's, What's happening? happening? One, two, three, four.
What do you think? All right. Uh, I, I did see Living on a Prayer was requested. I also have Sweating Bullets from last time. And uh, I got a few other ones, too, that we're going to jump into. Um. Mm. Let me see. There we go. <laughs> We're gonna we're gonna cheat on this one a little bit. Let me see, because I know we always have a hard time finding the right version for this one. Uh, is it this one? Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. It's the, I want the one with the backups. Let's see. I don't think it's the, I don't know, it's not that one. Let me see. Uh, I'm just gonna go down the list. Uh, which one is it? Is it this one? That one has, has some lyrics on it. <laughs> Can you learn faster than the speed of night by Bonnie Tyler? Let me take a look. Let me take a look. Bonnie Tyler is uh, pretty, pretty awesome. Uh, Rod Stewart's his sister, by the way. Did you guys know that? You shouldn't know that because I just made that up. Yeah, Rocky, we know. One last look. Pushing all the merchandise that isn't for sale. <laughs> anyway, let's uh, let's do this thing.
Living on a Prayer Bon Jovi. And yeah, on the original, there is a talk box. Uh, and you can probably hear a little bit of a talk, sp- talk box on this one. There is another guitar there in the, uh, layered in. But uh, yes, I was using the wah wah, which to me sounds similar enough. You know, if, it, if this is just me, you get a little bit of that wah wah, you know, because you're kind of doing the same thing with a talk box, you're just doing it with your mouth. But it It all all works works. when it's together, weaved together perfectly like a cashmere sweater made in 1984. I don't know. That makes no sense. Anyway, we're going to move on. Uh, And yeah, Richie did seem to talk like talk boxes. It's true. Love his talk boxes. Talking about it like he's not longer with us. Uh, I'm just thinking because he's not in... uh, He's not in Bon Jovi. Or is he is he coming back? I think I heard rumors that he's coming back. Anyway. <clears throat> uh, we're going to have a fun. We didn't do this one last time. I meant to do it. But we're kind of running out of time. And we're going to do it now. We're bringing back some mega death. He's talking about rejoining. Maybe for the fifth time. You know, like Kiss. <laughs> oh my god. What what would you guys do if Ace and Peter joined Kiss again? I don't know how I would feel at this point. I mean, I don't think it's going to happen. I think it's unrealistic if that happened, but I think Richie might. Uh, JBJ wants him back back in now that he's sober. I mean, he's he's great. I mean, Richie was uh, really important for, uh, for that uh, Bon Jovi sound. Without him, it's kind of... A little sad. A little bit sad. Anyway. Hello, me. Meet the real me. <laughs> I don't know, guys. My misfits way of life A dark black past is my Most valued possession Hindsight's always 2020, But looking back it's still a bit fuzzy Speak of mutually assured destruction Nice story tell of the Peter's digest They me again you can subdue but never tame it gives me a migraine headache sinking down to your level yeah just keep on thinking it's my fault and stay an inch or two out of kicking distance mankind has got to know his limitations feeling claustrophobic like the walls are closing in
just talking to myself. I'm credit to dementia. Someday you too will know my pain and smile something. And the war inside my head won't take a day off. I'll be dead. My icy fingers claw your back. Here I come again. Sounds painful to sweat bullets. And deadly. Ha! Anyway, uh, I'm saying stupid things. Uh, uh, but also, hello, Becca! Hello, hello! And uh, such a unique song, this. Yeah, it's a very unique song. I, I kind of like doing it just because I, I get a kick out of it. Gotta be honest, Rock, I'm not a knowledgeable Kiss fan. You're not a knowledgeable Kiss fan. It's okay. I. I'm like a KISS encyclopedia. A walking KISS encyclopedia. If that means anything. I know too much about KISS. Not sure why, but I have like everything. I've seen everything. I've seen every every professional concert and a lot of the the like handheld stuff. There's nothing professional from the Asylum tour, so I just had to sit and watch some guy from 1985 just filming the whole show. Which was illegal too. But he got away with it. It's only illegal if you get caught. That was a great Megadeth album. It was good. I think a lot of them are good. I was listening to some of the newer ones, and they're, you know, pretty consistent. I dropped the guitar pick. Now it's back. That's my favorite one. I've had it since 1971. That part is not true. That part is not true. We're going to do a Queen song. This was requested. Uh, we are the champions. At 96k now. Um, What do you want? You want your own uh, command? I am going to make a redemption for 1 million points. I'll play Freebird. Ace was why I learned guitar. Same here. That, I mean, that's why I have three, three humbuckers. That's why I did it. Because of Ace. Thank you, Ace. If you go to my website... Or watch my Toyota commercial. You'll see me with uh, a guitar that is named Ace, and uh, does have. I don't have it available right here, but like I have uh, another another triple humbucker. This one was not triple humbucker originally, by the way. It started out with. Well, actually, it's been through a lot, but it was Bot's uh, second hand. That means I was the second hands to touch it. Smokey, that's right. And the uh, first, it was it came with humbucker, single coil, single coil. I changed it to two humbuckers. Now it's got three. There you go. Hundred K points, free merch from you, an autograph photo if you'd be nice. Uh, yeah, we, we we we'll have to discuss all the all the redemption stuff. I want something that people actually want to do. But hundred K might be. Might be too fast, though. For something. I don't know. Uh, right, but that is a neck pickup, not a smoke bomb. True. And the original smoke bombs destroyed Ace's uh, electronics in the original guitar. Anyway, we're going to do a We Are The Champions. 
Let's see. Oh, 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 it just starts! GUYS! Where's the- Okay. I paid my dues Time after time I've done my sentence But committed no crime And bad mistake I've made a few I've had my share of sinking to my face But I go through On, on and on And we are the champions, my friend And we'll keep on fighting till the end we Taking my vows and my curtain call. You brought me fame and fortune, everything that goes with it. I thank you all. But it's been no better rules, no pleasure cruise. I consider it a challenge for all the whole human. We are the champions, Queen. Uh, uh, we're gonna cut the show a little, little, little uh, earlier today because uh, I, I do have possibly the flu, so I'm not sure what it is. So I'm gonna save my voice a little bit, uh, but we're not gonna end it quite yet. We're gonna do maybe we'll do like two more songs. I have uh, one song in mind for the last one. Uh, let me put that one in. But we're gonna do uh one before that that we haven't done in a while but i think it might be a fun one to do let me see if i can get this one going it's a surprise this was not a request but the last one was a request let's see <laughs> gotta protect the voice exactly
Also, before I forget, um, uh, for those of you who are celebrating Easter, happy Easter. Hope you're having a good one. Um, I saved a little bit of... That, that, that's my second thing I saved of uh, some Norwegian candy. So I, I'm going to enjoy some of that when I'm done with this. But uh, I hope you all enjoyed it. I normally go a little longer than I do, but I, um, uh, like I said, my voice is, is not in, uh, in its perfect normal condition. So uh, we're going to cut a little bit short. It's really a two-hour show, but I always end up going longer. We used to end at nine, and but you know people always uh, would kind of get crazy at the end. So um, it's it's hard to leave once you get going, right? Uh, but today we're gonna do it just to save my save the voice, and uh, there's no there's no reason to keep going. Easter to my keister. All right. Well, there's your answer. Um, so, um, here you go, guys. We got some Europe for you. The final countdown! <laughs> Hope you all enjoyed the show. Hope to see you again next week. Every Tuesday, 7 p.m. Pacific. Remember that. Remember.
right, people, thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you again next week and uh, have a happy Easter or Passover or all that good stuff or just a good week. Whatever you do, be safe. And I hope to see you again next week. Have a good night, guys. Um, and be good to each other. Have a good night. Maljek, once beaten by Roseblood, Hermonica David, Annette, Atten, Becca, Kill Me Willie, Go for Bronze, Arnar Fan, Maxi Max, JRG, Forevermore, DD, 1711, Daniel Berserk, Edwin and Chill, Sebastian, thank you all. Thank you all so much, Chef! Thank you so much, guys! Join Rocky at RockyKramer.com or find him on most social media by following at Rocky Kramer. Look for him on Facebook at Rocky Kramer Official. For those in the United States, text Rocky to 31996 to become a member of Rocky's Rockers. <laughs>